Hi guys, uh, this is Vanessa and today uh, we're going to talk about uh, tenless, uh, sunless tan. <laughs> tenless tan. Okay, <clears throat> um, sunless tan, as I promised you from my last video. But before we go there, uh, we go there I just want to tell you thank you so much again for your subscriptions, for all your likes, for your time you um, invested to watch my videos. So thank you so much guys. And I have a microphone right now. I got a better cam camera today, better phone. This is actually my second video that I'm doing uh, for the same topic because I forgot I did the first video without microphone. So I have to redo it again. <laughs> first of all, I'm gonna tell you what. Uh, sunless tanners are cool so they are amazing because you don't have to go to the sun and burn your skin grill yourself uh, to get a, a brown skin you know like a goldish uh, color uh, you can use sun sunless tanners or you can use bronzers and before we go there which one is to use I'm gonna tell you first a little bit of um, how they actually were invented so uh, they actually invented by accident as uh, everything else in the world I guess invented by accident which is very interesting uh, so it was uh, uh, one German doctor uh, her name is Eva uh, who was giving uh, sick kids uh, those pills with DHA it's dihydroxyacetone this is the ingredients main ingredient in a, a sunless tanners so uh, but um, this ingredient actually was using before for different reason not as a uh, sunless tanner so and she noticed that those kids who were taking those pills sometimes uh, uh, I mean this medicine they sometimes will spill it on the skin and it, it has a brownish color and then they researched it more and they figured out that it actually this ingredient can be used as a sunless tan so which is beautiful and uh, yeah, I think in 1950s so uh, company Cooperton they come out with the first uh, sunless tanner uh, but it was actually uh, not so good it was like an kind of orangey color and I, uh, pre I remember it um, I think 20 years ago 20 years ago I tried some and uh, or 15 years ago and it was so <laughs> It was so orange and the the worst part was like um, when you come out from the shower like you want to wash it out right you see like it's kind of washed out like um, uh, patches and you look like a leopard or some kind of wild animal or giraffe I don't know uh, a giraffe or something like that let's start uh, what is bronzers what are tanners uh, so bronzers those are actually my favorite products because they are easy to use they don't have a door or this kind of weird scent that uh, gradual tanners has um, also they easy to wash uh, out from your body and so you need them like you know it's just very easy to use uh, fast um, if you need something fast right now uh, and um, sunless tanners they are different so because they develop the tan an hour you get uh, darker second hour you get more darker more more so it's like gradually you get tan and this kind of tan if you want to have it all the time you have to maintain it so like you have to use this lotion two three times a week to maintain the color First, ask yourself why you need it, right? If I need it for a date, for tonight, uh, for example, like I'm going tonight somewhere, so I'm gonna have a hot date, and I need to use, uh, uh, I need to have beautiful skin, uh, so then please use a bronzer. So this is the best way to get a beautiful color because it doesn't have any odor, it doesn't have any scent. It's very easy to wash out, so no problem, right? Uh, and uh, if you need it for example for if you need tan for like pool party or you have some I don't know some kind of other special occasion that you know you have to go into the water then um, you can use gradual tanners so this is uh, probably will be the best option uh, so and uh, now uh, before we're gonna talk about it uh, I'm gonna tell you guys um, also <laughs> my story my kind of um, experience when I went to um, uh, tenor tenor cabin it's like a booth 
uh, tenor booth uh, when they spray you like a spray the tenor on you like in the shower like 300 degrees around you uh, so <laughs> it was actually kind of horrible experience because I didn't know what to expect and it was my first time and I actually inhale a lot of chemicals uh, people who work there didn't even tell me that I like supposed to you know like not breathe or uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do but uh, in the end I was like <laughs> like I was shocked because I was scared and I didn't know when it's gonna stop spraying on me because I wanted to get out from the cabin from the shower uh, from this uh, tenor shower uh, so in the end I was like all uh, my hair was all yellow like my ears everything and uh, I inhaled a lot of chemicals I was so angry at them I never come back there again uh, so <clears throat> guys if you go there please ask what you need to do uh, like close the nose or close the ears or whatever you need to do but uh, ask them because it's not really pleasant thing to uh, experience okay uh, so why I was talking about that because there is a different kind of tenors exist right as we know there is a creams there is a mousse there is a uh, tenor towels there is a tenor uh, booth uh, which I don't like uh, and uh, so any kinds of uh, variations right that just uh, choose whatever you like more whatever you feel more comfortable with okay and uh, uh, also there is a pills I was reading about pills I was like what yeah so don't use them please because they have obviously high very high amount of the uh, dihydroxyacetone DHA so you don't want to kill your liver you don't want to kill your body from inside you don't need it okay uh, so that's all and now we're going to talk fast about how to apply them correctly so you don't have any uh, you know leopard skin uh, I, I will call it like that so you go to the shower and while you're in the shower you do exfoliation exfoliate your skin well so that it doesn't have any dry spots okay so you make sure it's all nice and as any kind of scrub you have okay and exfoliate your skin then you come out from the shower you pat yourself and then you what I do I put some uh, like light lotion on me not the thinning lotion before the thinning lotion I put some light lotion just because I want to have hydration okay after let it sit and then you you need a whole body start it with the sections and ask somebody to help you uh, use gloves and then when you're done just wait like five or ten minutes uh, let it sit on your body let it to absorb and then you're ready to wear your dress to so you're ready to wear your skirt your swimsuit or whatever you need to wear or maybe you don't need to wear anything at all so this is also fine so uh, it depends on your occasion uh, and also another thing I want to tell you that when you apply sunless tan on your body uh, make sure you have a sunscreen if you're going outside because those tethers doesn't have a sunscreen some of them have like uh, SPF 3 or 5 but this is ridiculously uh, like it's nothing so you don't want to go outside and burn your skin because your skin actually is more sensitive to UV lights when you have a sunless tan on your body is my favorite product I, I personally like bronzers because they're easy to use and they're easy to wash out from my skin uh, and they don't smell so I don't smell weird okay so this is the um, Sally Hansen it's beautiful so I use uh, medium glow this is my favorite okay it's cheap and you can get it I think it uh, Walgreens or CVS I always confuse two of those so and uh, just please look before you go okay which uh, pharmacy you can find it I think it's also a target so this is good okay so this is tenor I like it's a um, gradual tenor uh, it gives you gradual uh, uh, gradual uh, tan uh, so and it calls wish it's I really love this brand and it's beautiful so you can get it at Nordstrom and uh, it smells very nice and it doesn't give you so much uh, adore or scent this yucky scent that uh, you probably were experienced before so that's how it looks it's pretty big bottle so I really love if I'm gonna use gradual tan that I'm gonna use that 
Okay guys, so we finished today and um, I hope it was interesting for you. Uh, it was kind of a little bit short, but I think it was very informative. Uh, it was a lot of information for you. So um, now you know what tanners to use and uh, what is better bronzer or tanner. It depends on your occasion, right? Where are you going and why you need it for. So and um, thank you so much for watching. So I'll see you next time. Bye.